Hello friends, I'm Smita Katti and in today's video I'm going to share a closer look at the new Furunosuke pastel pens and let's letter something together. So the six new colors are white, pale yellow, light green, light blue, lavender and soft pink. They come with the same soft flexible small brush that we all love but the best part is you can now write on dark papers. So if you press down the brush tip you will get a thicker line and if you press down faintly you will get a thinner line and you can do the brush calligraphy strokes very easily with this pen. The ink appears transparent at first and you kind of don't think that you're writing correctly but you are. What happens is that the color becomes more opaque as the ink dries. So just give it a few minutes and you'll see the color starting to appear on top of the darker paper. The water-based pigment ink in this pen is great for writing either on darker papers or even on white paper. The pastel color shows up brilliantly on the white papers as well. What I love about this pen is that it's small, the tip is so easy to control that it's a beginner's favorite pen. When I started hand lettering, this was the pen that I used the most. So I'm going to give a few minutes here and you'll see the words start to appear on top of the paper as the ink dries. So while our coat dries, let's take a look at all of the other colors in the pack. There are five more colors included, so I'm just going to doodle some designs underneath the coat. I always like to enhance a coat or anything that I've hand lettered with small simple floral and leaf doodles. On this black paper, almost all of the colors dry and show up very beautifully. You can always use these pens on white paper as well. I'm just showing it on the black paper today because that is super special. I don't have any other Tombow pen which writes on black paper right now. So getting this set in the mail made me so happy. These pens have a water-based ink that won't bleed through most papers and you want to store your pens horizontally just to make sure the ink doesn't dry out. Now while I like how this looks, I really want the coat to stand out. I want it to be nicely contrasting against the dark paper. And to do that, I am layering the ink. So the Furunosuke pen ink can easily be layered to get a nice intense color on top of darker paper. So I'm just lettering over the words that I've already lettered with my white pen and some of the same colors on top of the doodles as well. By layering color, you can get a nice intense color on top of the dark papers. This doesn't take as much time as you would think. It actually takes just a minute or two and the whole result just gets enhanced. So that's two layers of ink on top of the paper. I wanna go ahead and show you how if I add a third layer of color, the color even intensifies further. What you want to do while adding color is that you want to have a light touch, press down the pen firmly, but don't kind of like gnaw at the ink that's already on the paper. Just use a light touch to go over the ink and then you will get a nice bold look when the ink dries. I also like to wait a few minutes before applying the next layer just to make sure that I'm not lifting off the previous layers of ink. I hope these tips help you and you enjoyed today's video. I loved how this simple coat turned out. It's colorful and all the doodles just literally pop against the black paper. If you haven't tried the pastel colors of the Furunosuke pens, I hope you give them a try. They're really fun to use and you can use them both on white and black papers. They're great for doing hand lettering. Thanks so much for spending some crafty time with me today, friends. I'll see you again soon with another video. Till then, happy crafting.